What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on our way to the first points hook of the year. So hit that subscribe button if you're into these kind of behind the scenes videos, I guess. It should be a lot of fun. It's always really nerve wracking going into a new venue or somewhere we haven't done a pool already or going somewhere where there isn't really any truck pools and seeing what kind of show we can put on. But it's also really exciting too because we've been getting a lot of great feedback online from everybody and it is literally shout out sheets. Where's the sponsorship at? I come here every video, but anyway, beautiful day out. So it's exciting to see what's gonna take place here today and we're gonna drive up there. One hour later. All right, guys, we made it here. Um, yeah, looks like a little bit of track prep needs done before we can pull on this sucker, but it's still early. It's like 11 a.m. Um, we do have one puller rolling in so far. We'll have to go check out who it is, but looking pretty good. Nice grandstands on the hillside. Hopefully we pack this place out, man. It'd be awesome, but looking pretty good so far. So this event benefits the Hope and Commodore Fire Departments. All the proceeds of this event go straight to those fire departments. So it's really important to me that we do a lot of advertising and try to raise money for those groups. Um, if it wasn't for people like that, then we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. So they're starting to dig up the track and throw a little bit of water in it, which is good because I don't think it's rained here in like three weeks. So the track's definitely going to need it. Um, there was grass growing through it when we got here this morning. So that's kind of another thing that's going to be taken care of here soon. And we're about four hours away from start time. So lots of things in the works here. Lots of trucks rolling in. We'll walk around and see what all's here. So it's six o'clock, the track preparation is finally over and we're gonna get ready to do some truck and tractor pulling here. Looking like it's gonna be a great show here tonight. The pits are packed full of trucks and tractors. Um, crowd wise, they're still filling in here. Um, so it should be a successful evening, I'm thinking. All right guys, here we go. First class of the night, open street diesel four wheel drive. We are actually filming for the Appalachian Outlaws TV series today, and I'm gonna be running the starting line camera. And I don't think I made it down here in time for this first truck. Get out of people's way. the track and he took it home with him so definitely gonna have to get a sled reset we got on the mark this weekend the big i'm pulling sleds angry farmer sponsored one of the top sleds in the country what a run put down but the sled's gonna get reset here Don't oh, well, you know. 85 pounds what these people weigh I don't need the driver, I need the driver and the truck right there, but yeah, on the wheel, our first driver in a reset class. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
All right, so we've ran into a couple different problems with the sled, a couple trucks not running great. Um, but other than that, the show's going good so far. Um, kind of a rocky start, but we're in the small block HO class. And uh, things are shaping up to be pretty good here. Jason Garris won the small block high output class. We're on the trackers. Later, we're back here. 
there was a malfunction with the measuring device on the sled and we're restarting the big block high output class after a great outlaw street oh, gas man. division so unfortunate are, it's one of those situations where like it's just so sh and you're not going to make everybody happy and it sucks because that's what i wish we could do here but everybody's kind of okay with rerunning the whole point situation i don't know high output class and got that all situated so not sure what we're going to do with the points for that class but that's the highs and lows of this game man there's always going to be well not always there shouldn't be but every once in a while you have hiccups in the game and in the pool so what are you going to do we got our track side cameraman Noah Anthony over here we're going to go leave now All right, guys, so it's the next day, and I'm going out, and I'm setting flyers out for the two-day Thunder Truck and Tractor Pool. If you're watching this video when it's released, it's next week, June 16th and 17th at Listy Grove, a two-day truck and tractor pulling event. There's also a car show, cornhole tournament, all-you-can-eat breakfast in the morning, kids pedal pool, adult pedal pool, all kinds of different events all weekend long for the whole family to enjoy. So if you have nothing going on, Head down the road, Somerset, Pennsylvania area, Freedens, Pennsylvania, technically, uh, for the two-day Thunder truck and tractor pool. Another big thing we have going on is the merchandise drop, which is next week as well. Here's the, here's the advertisement for that. I'm not sure what date we're rolling with yet at the time we're recording this, but this is when it's going to be released. We have over 100 different products in this drop. We have all kinds of different colored shirts, hats, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, accessories, stickers, all kinds of different things in this drop. So be sure to support that as well. But that's all I really got for you guys today. That's going to wrap up the video. As far as Cookport goes, it was a good show. There was a lot of hiccups involved with the sled and that sort of thing, but that's just a part of the game that we play here uh, in truck and tractor pulling. So hopefully we got all the bad stuff out of the way for the season and we're going to have an awesome summer. So with that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. See you next week. Bye-bye.